everyone, I'm Jasmine and welcome to another painting video. I bought these purses on Amazon when they were on sale uh, months ago. I had taken a blue one and painted it as an aerial bag and posted time-lapse reels on my Instagram. But it's been a while since I did anything with the others. I have four more purses, uh, one mint green, another lavender, a black one, and a white with a black trim. Purse number one. Vanellope. This one's both a simple one and also a more difficult one because I didn't want to do much on the purse but Vanellope is a 3D animated character. I have no issues painting 3D animated characters. Actually it's a lot easier than drawing 2D but leather paint can not be a little tricky when it comes to color matching. Uh, I won't waste your time, on to the video. I started by painting my outlines with white paint. White because it's the easiest to cover up on a light surface. On top of the purse, I drew the drip pattern for a fudge drip. On the front pouch, I removed the bow keychain that came with it and selected a Vanellope pose I liked and drew it out. Proportioning things can be a little difficult for me when there's a wider gap. I realized towards the end I had painted on her eyes too small, uh, so I made some adjustments at the end. I also noticed her skin was too washed out, so I added some warmth. For the negative space, not wanting to add too much, I painted on some of the sprinkles and candy with some pastel colors, then added some to the chocolate drip. Because of the ring on the front pouch, I can't just leave it without a keychain, but I didn't want the bow blocking Penelope, so I bought this pack of candy pendants and added a lollipop to the front. Purse number two, black and white, Mickey and Minnie. I know I already did Steamboat Willie on a small purse, but they just look so cute I wanted to paint them again. Bonus number one, I don't know if you guys have heard that the, I believe the copyright has expired on Steamboat Willie. It's reached 100 years, which is the max. What that means is that you can, you can't claim it's yours still. You can't use it for like logos, uh, anything where you're suggesting that you're directly associated with Disney because Mickey and Minnie aren't copyright free, just those specific images of Steamboat Willie. What that means is that now I can 
paint that specific version of Mickey and Minnie on a bag and actually publicly sell them, which is exciting. The second bonus uh, was that I didn't have to paint the black trim this time because the purse already had it. These purses have the logo stamped on the front, but my rule is, is that as long as there's not a face over it, then I'll leave it alone. Otherwise, I have to cover it up with leather filler to make a smoother surface. So I went around it with Mickey and Minnie to avoid that. When painting with leather paint, it's best to paint in thin coats, allowing each layer to dry in between. One of these days I'll show you exactly what happens when another coat gets painted on too soon, but basically it lifts the coat underneath and leaves it really patchy and uneven. On the front patch, I painted the ship wheel and some water. Purse number three, my black purse. I always need a villain in my plans and I'd already painted Ursula and Hades, so why not paint Maleficent next? I had a vision for this one. Maleficent on top of the purse, green flames on the bottom pouch, the dragon above it. Uh, would it be time consuming? Yes. Would it be cool? Also yes. This one took some more time, of course, and I got rid of the bow for this one, but kept the tassel just to avoid adding any more to the list price.
that's three more Disney purses finished and ready to sell. I was about to say what do you think, but Simply Neological has kind of permanently associated herself with that question. Oh my god, I can't say it without hearing the reel of what do you thinks. If you've seen her videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. your favorite Disney characters? Uh, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!